So I don't know which one I like more. The fact that this VMO strengthening exercise is incredibly simple and incredibly effective at targeting the VMO, or the story behind how it was discovered that this particular exercise is so incredibly effective at what it does. Now, if you wanna learn about this exercise and how it was discovered to be as effective as it is, then stick around and watch this video. Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. All right, so we're talking about the VMO, the vastus medialis obliquus, and how we can strengthen it with a really cool exercise. Now, I've got timestamps in the description below if you just wanna jump right to particular sections of the video, but right before we dive into it, let's talk a little bit about what this VMO is and why it's so important for us to strengthen it. So the vastus medialis obliquus, this muscle, is one of four muscles called the quadriceps muscles, which are the big muscles on the front of the thigh. Now. The vastus medialis is one of those four muscles, but the obliquus portion of that muscle, we call the vastus medialis obliquus, is just kind of this bottom portion of that muscle on the inside lower part of the thigh. Now this muscle, a lot of times when we're injured or other stuff happens, this muscle gets really weak and can kind of break down and underperform, and that can lead to some different knee aches and pains and other issues. So it's incredibly important that we have ways to strengthen this particular muscle to help keep people moving better and feeling good and all that good kind of stuff. All right, and it's important to keep in mind that there are in fact a number of different exercises and ways you can really try and bias and kind of target this vastus medialis obliquus. The exercise I'm showing you in this video is absolutely one of my favorites. I think it's incredibly effective, but it's certainly by no means the only way to do so. It's also important to keep in mind that when it comes to rehabbing this muscle or doing general strength training for it, the exercises that are gonna be most appropriate for you are largely based upon the overall state of your health, including your thigh muscles and strength, or the type of injury you have, or the phase of your rehabilitation that you're in. So all these factors mix in to kind of help us know which exercises are gonna be appropriate for you at the stage that you're at. Nonetheless, if you feel like you're in good condition and wanna give this exercise a try, this is a really good one to do. So for this exercise, all you are going to need is a wall that you can essentially lean up against and some secure footing to make sure that your feet aren't going to slide around on you. We are going to do what's called an isometric contraction, which means that we're just gonna make the muscle hold a contraction without actually producing any physical movement. And we're gonna do this by using a standard wall sit that you've probably seen people do a lot where they hold their knees to a 90 degree bend and squat down and hold that for a little while. But we are going to modify this in a way that has been shown to really pick on that VMO a lot more. So in order to do this, what you are going to do is you're gonna put your heel to the wall and then you are gonna take two heel to toe steps away from the wall. This kind of standardizes it for you. And again, it was shown in a study that I'll talk about a little bit later on, how this is an incredibly effective position to put the knee in for picking on that VMO. So once you are two feet or two steps away from the wall, you are then going to lean back and then squat down so that the tops of your thighs are parallel to the ground. And from there, you simply hold this position for as long as you can tolerate. Now, ideally, believe it or not, you wanna try and get upwards of five minutes. And even in a lot of studies, senior citizens have been shown to get upwards of five minutes when their leg muscles and overall health are in good condition. So work up to five minutes if you can, but use reasonable judgment and make sure this exercise is appropriate for you. Now, after anywhere from a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes, what you're likely going to see, if you're a relatively lean person anyways, is kind of some of your quadricep muscles dancing around a little bit. We call these fasciculations, where it just kind of looks like there's some fireworks going off underneath your skin. And this is the muscle really having to kind of work hard and activate to make sure you can maintain this position. And so if you look here on this video, you'll see that this is certainly happening with me, that whole quadricep and especially that BMO region really kind of coming to life and that's a good sign that we're getting electrical activity and a good contraction into that portion of the muscle. And that's really all that there is to it. Once you have held that position for as long as you can, simply return to your starting position. And then if you want, you can take a break and try again, or you can save it for a later point in time. So if you stuck around to this point in the video, maybe you wanna hear about how it was determined that this particular position is so incredibly effective at lighting up the VMO from an electrical activity standpoint. Well, it's actually a really cool story. So there is a world-renowned, remarkable physiotherapist by the name of Paul Hodges. Certainly kind of check out some of his work if you are either a physiotherapy student or you just want to read some really cool research and some papers that he's put out there. He is very, very well established in the world of academia and just in the whole world of physiotherapy in general. He's published numerous, numerous uh, journal articles and chapters and books and all sorts of amazing stuff. So certainly give him a check uh, if you want to learn more about who he is. But Here's the story behind how it was determined this position is as effective as it is. 
So the story is that when he was doing research around finding which position of the knee in an isometric contraction, the same type of contraction you're holding with the wall sit, doing research around which position of the knee in particular was most effective at recruiting and using this VMO, well, they actually put the person into this position and they were measuring the amount of electrical activity going into the muscle, which tells us how hard the muscle is contracting or having to work or being neurologically activated. They were doing this with what we call fine wire EMGs. So they're taking needles and actually putting them into the muscle and then measuring the electrical activity that that muscle was producing in different positions. And when they went into this position, the electrical reading or output of the muscle was so high that they actually thought that the machine was broken. And so sure enough, they kind of reset and they did it again in the same deal. Every time with different subjects, they went into this position, that VMO electrical activity was through the roof. So that's the neat little story behind how it was determined that that particular position of the knee is very effective at lighting up and recruiting that VMO. Now, if you want to learn more about Paul's stuff, certainly check him out. If you're a geek like me, reading his stuff will fascinate you for hours and hours and hours, so certainly check him out. Now, if you found this video helpful or informative in any way, it would certainly mean a lot to me if you hit that like and subscribe button. It's an honor to bring content that hopefully helps all of you out or gives you some type of information and insight that can better your life in some sort of way. And so if it does, that like and subscribe button would mean a lot to me. So everyone keep looking after yourselves, keep looking after one another, keep making great things happen, and I will see you in the next video.